Okay. <clears throat> An important topic in most branches of computer science is searching through data, arrays, lists of things, lists of, of users or products in a catalog. The simplest way of, of doing this search is just a linear search where we look at each item, see if it's what we want, and if it's not, we move to the next item. This method has the downside of being excessively slow. If the number of items in our list is represented by the variable n, the complexity of the search can be represented by n over 2. That is, on average, we'll be looking through half of our items before we found what we were looking for. And in the worst case, where our item was at the very end of the list, or when the item wasn't even in the list to begin with, we end up doing n searches. So in the world of, of computer science, where we're often dealing with millions of items or tens of millions of items, working with algorithms that have a complexity that's directly proportional to the number of items that they're working on won't really cut it but there is a better way. Second type of search is called a binary search. This search does require that you order the data before you search for it, but it takes much fewer steps to arrive at the correct item. The way that a binary search works, rather than going through each piece of data one by one, we ask the computer memory if the piece of data that we're looking for has a greater value or a lesser value than a piece of data in the middle of our array or our list. And so when we get our answer, we cut our range of possible items by two. We either need to continue searching through the first half of the list or the second half of the list. And once we have one of these isolated, we ask the question again. We ask from, from our new separated list, is the value that we're looking for higher than or lower than the value in the middle? And so we have that, that half separated half again. And we continue asking this question until we're left with only one possible answer. And the great thing about this is, as we add more and more and more items to our array or our list, we get a better payoff. For instance, in the case of an array or a list with a million elements, on average, our, our linear search is going to have to do 500,000 checks before it comes across what it's looking for. And the, the worst case for the, the linear search would be a million, obviously. But with the binary search, the worst case scenario is the same as the best case scenario. And they're both 20 rather than 500,000. We make 20 checks and we, we find our answer. This sounds fantastic, unbelievable, amazing, but it brings up the issue of, of, of quickly sorting data, which is something else entirely. But if you can, if you can get past that, that hurdle of organizing your data in an efficient way, in a quick way, then searching through it becomes much easier.